This week's question is, I have leads, but I'm having trouble converting them. So my advice to you would be this. Uh, it depends on if it's a buyer lead or a seller lead, but let's assume um, this would kind of work for either one. So let me just kind of go in general uh, and then we'll, then I'll answer it specifically. So in general, the main thing you got to understand uh, about a lead is they're looking for any way in the world, if it's on the phone, to get off the phone for you or discount you as the person that they need to help them. So once you kind of know that, what you need to do is maybe disarm them a little bit uh, and really turn the conversation more to about them. The best way to do that is questions. So I would ask you, what are your list of great questions that you have if they're a seller lead? And what are your list of questions that you have if they're a great buyer lead? Remember the person that talks the most feels like it was the best presentation or the best conversation. And so that being said, I got to learn great questions that move them along a path, but it also keeps them engaged. And the longer I can keep them engaged, the better opportunity I have of getting them to take a next step with me. Now that's if it's in person. Again, if it's on uh, line or somewhere where they're a little safer from, you know, having any conversation with you, the only thing you can do is change up what your uh, written material is saying to them, offer a carrot, offer a uh, kind of opportunity to get something from you uh, if they take action, invite them to a, maybe a seminar or class you're teaching, just keep trying to get something that pulls them out just a little bit more and a little bit more, but for sure if it's in, a, in phone, um, conversation. It's about great questions. Learn lots and lots of great questions to ask so that you get more information from them, one. Number two, and you keep them engaged and moving along. Uh, and then don't be afraid to ask hard questions like on a motivation scale, one to ten, how motivated are you? Uh, also, don't be afraid to ask uh, if they're working with someone else. Don't be afraid to ask, um, you know, um, closing questions. How soon do you uh, want to purchase a home? I uh, assume since you're calling me, you're not working with anyone else. Um, will, you be be, will you be paying cash uh, for this property? So get really bold in your questions and get really, really good at great questions. That's the number one way uh, to convert leads is learn great questions. And we tend to think that our value is in what we have to say. And so we just say and say and say and say. And the reality is, is the value is in pulling stuff out of them and letting them talk the most. And the only way to do that is great questions. Uh, one more thing I would add to this is to, um, you always want to sell towards hope. Uh, and so look at what the hope is for them on what they're, why they're looking to make a change or a move and, and focus on that a little bit in your conversation with them. Uh, and then the other thing is to give them some type of um, sense of urgency, create some form of sense of urgency. And there always is one. It's just you got to know what they are and be aware of them. Um, you know, it might be interest rates. And, you know, if they wait, the interest rate change could cost them a couple hundred dollars a month. So learn what those kind of sense of urgency things really are that they're at risk at and be able to bring those into your conversation that you're having with them. Anyway, hope that helps and I'll talk to you next week.